What's up everybody, Father Winitachi here, you know what it is, and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in to another Pokemon Go vlog. And we are getting there, we are getting very close, and as I've been saying the past couple vlogs, we haven't been getting that many new Pokemon, but today I've got something special already off the bat. I had, I uh, was uh, a, bunch, a bunch of Pokestops today. Uh, let's just stay with that. And we got four or five K eggs again. And as you guys know, a lot of the Pokemon that I need uh, left on my Pokédex are all evolution Pokemon, like Victory Bell, Macho Machamp, uh, Gengar, Alakazam, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, all those Pokemon. And I need candies for them. And it's very hard for me to actually find these Pokemon. But through the egg method, I've been able to get these Pokemon a lot lately. Uh, nearby, nothing really nearby. I'm currently level 25 still, which has been a feat of strength on its own, so I'm happy with that. But I want to go ahead and show you guys what I got out of those four 5k eggs. Uh, we are now able to evolve three brand new Pokemon, and we're going to start the episode right off the bat. I am actually very close to getting a Venusaur, Blastoise, and a Charizard. Uh, Venusaur, I actually have enough candies already. Uh, to get an Ivysaur, and I probably just need to catch one more Bulbasaur to even get a Venusaur from that Ivysaur, but I am holding off a little bit. Same with the Charmander. I'm probably going to evolve this Charmeleon, because um, my, as you guys know, my buddy right now is Charmander, and I've been walking a lot, so I've been getting a lot of candies, and we're very close to hatch uh, evolving him as well. But let's go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, out of the first, well, I don't know what the order was. I don't really remember what the order was, because I couldn't see the order. Because what I had planned to start this vlog was hatching 4 or 5k eggs right away. I tried to stop it at 4.9, but it was at 4.7, and then out of nowhere it just started hatching all the eggs. So I wasn't able to record it. But um, as you guys can see, we did get two Machops out of four of the eggs. And um, two of the Machops, I evolved one already because one was pretty close to the Machoke that I already had. Um, but it ended up only being 11.45, well, only. It ended up being 11.45, and the one that I've had this whole time has been 11.62. And, um, out of those two Machops, we ended up getting just under 40 candies, which was plenty, plenty, to evolve my Machoke into a Machamp. So we've got that. Again, I'm very close to getting a Victory Bell as well. Probably just two to three more catches on a Bulbasaur. I mean, not a Bulbasaur. On a, uh, Bellsprout, which we're very close to getting as well. Um, what else did I get? It was a Star U as well as a coughing, coughing. There we go. Um, I'm finally able to get a uh, Weezing. Um, we ended up getting a coughing, which gave us uh, just enough, well, no, gave us enough candies to evolve coughing into a Weezing. And Star U, I've been sitting at 49 candies for like forever. And I've been getting Star U's only in eggs because, again, I don't live next to water besides the water that's behind me, which is a pool. Um, I believe I caught probably one when I went to the beach or when I went to Santa Monica. But I don't think I've caught that many star use. But I've gotten all my candies pretty much from eggs. But yeah, we're able to get a Starmie today, a Weezing today, as well as a Machamp. And this is perfect timing because I'm about, just came home from practice. And I'm about to hit the gym for a little bit. So hey, what better time to get a Machamp? Am I saying right? So let's go ahead and start off with the star you. We're about to get three new Pokemon right off the bat, guys, in this vlog. And it is an XL star you. Um, let's go ahead, and we got 54, as I can, as I just said, we were at 49 candies, and I just got a star you from an egg, and it only gave us five candies, so, pretty lucky there, but I only needed one candy anyways to evolve, uh, my star you into a star me, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and start evolving, and it is a 502, uh, star you, and this is the one that I got from the egg, the other one I've had this whole time. Um, hopefully this is decent Starmie. I'm not too sure how the CP on a Starmie is. I doubt it's amazing because it is only a, a single evolution Pokemon and most of them are not super high. There we go. Registered in the Pokedex. We are actually getting very close to that 142 mark on our Pokedex by the way. 1267. Not bad at all. Let's go. Oh, Water Gun and Hydro Pump. Perfect. Appraise this thing, son. Uh, overall, Starmie may not be great in battle. Defense is the strongest feature. Alright, so battle, it it sucks. It sucks, but it's extra large. But it still sucks in battle. But that's okay, we got a Starmie finally. So that is one down. Let's go ahead and evolve my coughing, which we currently have. Oh no, we only have 42 out of 50 candies. God damn it, I thought I had, I thought I got enough from that uh, evolution. No! Wait, was it the, I thought it was the coffin. I kept this for a reason. There's got to be a reason why I kept this. There's got to be a reason why I kept this. 
I'm trying to, I'm very positive it was the coffee. I got the coffee out of the egg. I know it was. But there was something that I needed to evolve. Was it my haunter? It was my haunter. Okay, now, okay, now I got it. My bad. Mistake here. It was the other purple guy over here. So, we're evolving our haunter into a Gengar. Never mind. Uh, the coughing I just got out of an egg, but I've had this for a while now. Uh, 102. I've been waiting to get another haunter, but I decided to evolve this. So, never mind. So, we've got a Sarmi. Now, we're going to get a Gengar for the first time. So, let's go ahead and evolve the 702 haunter. I'm going to have to get another haunter. I already know that. Relax, everybody. But this is a cool, this is a better evolution than a Weezing. I definitely take this. Let's go ahead and check it out. I couldn't wait to evolve this guy. This guy took me forever to get. I got all of my Gastly's pretty much out of uh, eggs. Took me for evs. Yeah, damn. Look at that, dude. It is so. It, it, it feels. Oh, only 1081. Uh, not the best. It's very actually low, to be honest. Appraise. Uh, may not be great in battle. God damn, why are my Pokemon good in battle? Oh well, at least I am collecting today. So I need to go ahead and get a uh, Haunter again. And let's go ahead and evolve our last one for the day, which is going to be our 1162 Machoke. Sadly, the one that I, the Machop that I evolved wasn't good enough, but we've got enough uh, candies here to evolve this Machoke into a Machamp. So we're going to have all three anyways on this guy. So hopefully this one... Is pretty high because it's Machamp of all Pokemon. Machamp is a pretty strong Pokemon and it is very, very hard to get in the game because you have to, have to trade it to someone in order for Machoke to evolve into Machamp. But this game, this game, of course, you only have to get the candies. So it's a hard Pokemon to get in the actual games and it is a pretty strong fighting Pokemon as well. One of the strongest. The 1736. That isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and let me see the moveset. Karate Chop and Cross Chop. That's not bad either. Let me go ahead and appraise this one. Hopefully it's better than the others. Overall, it's okay. It's decent, so it's not the best. So it's okay. It's decent. So that's not bad. That's a great way to start the vlog. We've got a Machamp now. We've got a Gengar as well as a Starmie. So that is three brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. We are now at 122 out of 142. So only 20 more Pokemon to go. So hopefully we can get them soon. I am very close to getting again. Uh, Victory Bell. Uh, Venusaur, I'm pretty much sniffing it. Um, Blastoise is the farthest out of the three. Charizard is very close as well. I'm basically one Pokemon captured from each and every single evolution pretty much right now. Uh, Kadabra's, I, Alakazam is probably the farthest I'm away from. I'm not counting Dratini or Magikarp right now. Those are pretty much impossible for me to find right now unless I get them in eggs. And I haven't hatched any 10k eggs. So Dratini, I can get a Dragonair but I'm just holding off on it right now. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. And uh, hopefully we can evolve more Pokemon in this vlog. And if we do, that will be great. If not, I'll catch you guys in a bit. What's up, everybody? What's goody? It's a brand new night. The night that you just saw was actually two nights ago, and uh, we just got a couple of evolutions in. I believe it was Gengar. Mm, I, I really don't even fucking remember. <laughs> I remember it was Gengar. I believe Gengar was one of them. Um, I, I, I don't. Oh, Starmie, Gengar, and Machamp. That's what it was. All right, well. We've got more evolutions to do today, but I'm going to do them after we get our walking in. Uh, we've got Alakazam that we're finally able to get. We're going to evolve a 603 Kadabra. I tried to wait on this one, but I recently just got a 576 Kadabra, and I just can't find anything higher than the 603, and I really want to complete this Pokedex. So we're going to get that. Uh, we've, we finally got Victory Bell. That was easy to do, actually, because I've been finding a lot of spawns at the park, Central Park, for those of you that actually follow me. Uh, we got another Weeping Bell, so I'm going to go ahead and evolve my 1050 Weeping Bell, which isn't too bad at all. It's actually very, very good, uh, CP-wise. And we're going to go ahead and evolve that into a Victory Bell. And there was one more thing that I wanted to evolve, and I believe it was the we the Coughing, finally. I think we're going to finally get the... Yeah, the Coughing's going to go to Weezing. Uh, we got a Coughing out of an egg, and it was only CP-13. But I will take it, because we got got the candies out of it and that's all I really needed uh, the 763 coffee and as you guys can see is definitely definitely feasible so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and evolve those three later today and uh, in fact I might be able to evolve well no I can evolve because as you guys know my buddy is Charmander 
Um, I can evolve my Charmeleon into a Charizard. Uh, my 934 is better than the 529 that I have. The 529 I have is my buddy. Okay, I, I like Charmander over Charmeleon as a buddy Pokemon. And, um, but my 934 Charmeleon is definitely better than the, uh, the Charmander. Um, but I have enough candies already, by far. Um, and that's, I just recently got them today. I haven't even been paying attention. I've just been walking with my uh, phone on. Uh, we just walked to a restaurant, which was like three miles away. Uh, it was two, two, uh, one and a half miles there, one and a half miles back. And I've, I've been just basically gathering candies on this guy. And I definitely have seven over now. Uh, but the reason why, the only reason why I might hold off is if I can not, if I don't find a Charmeleon tonight or a Charmander, uh, out of an egg, I'm gonna hold off on it and then evolve them in a little bit. Um, Bulbasaur and Squirtle, if I can get out of my 2k eggs, I do have two 2k eggs and two 5k eggs that I'm gonna ha try to hatch tonight. If I can get a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle, I am very positive I'll be able to evolve that as well. Again, I'm very close to evolving things. Uh, we got four eggs that we wanna hatch tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and, fo basically this is my, it's freaking hot, so let's go outside when it's cooler, late night walk. And we're gonna go ahead and hatch these four eggs. Again, I have a lot of things that I can evolve. We're definitely gonna evolve my uh, Kadabra into Alakazam, my Weeping Bell to Victory Bell, and my Coughing to Weezing tonight, because I already have those set up. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do, uh, see what we've got. I'm probably gonna change my buddy pretty soon, um, but I do want to try to get 125 uh, candies just in case I get a Charmander. And the reason being is if that Charmander is better than my Charmeleon, if, then I will go ahead and use that Charmander as the evolution chain. Or if not, then I'll have the ability to evolve that one of my Charmanders into a Charmeleon. As you guys know, I'm OCD like that. I like to keep my Pokemon. Uh, I like to have one of everything. Um, I like to keep the max CP for the end of the evolution chain, and I like to keep my Let's say I have a Caterpie and a uh, Metapod. I try to keep those two at very low CP just so I can say to myself, okay, these two suck. And then I like to keep my Butterfree at max, but that's just how I am. I'm OCD like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get our walk in and I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, everybody, we made it to our Pokestop location. As you guys can see, Team Valor holding it down on the other side of the street. Sadly, I can't get in there to drop one of my Pokemon off because the gate is closed. This one, however, is open, but it is Team Mystic, and I'm not gonna really do too much here. As you guys know, I wanna stay away from battles, gym battles, PvP, as much as possible. And the reason being is I just can't be bothered with it right now. I wanna complete the Pokedex or get as completed as much as possible. But don't worry, in a couple of more episodes, you are gonna start seeing, you are gonna start seeing some uh, gym battles and some PvP content in the Pokemon Go game. Uh, but let's go ahead and get our only Pokestop. We can't get any eggs right now because of course I am maxed out, but uh, hopefully tomorrow when I go to the park in the morning I can get some eggs. But hopefully we're gonna basically walk on back. Definitely gonna hatch the 2Ks very soon. And the 5Ks, I'm gonna have to do a lot more walking to get these hatched. But uh, I'll catch you guys then. And I'm gonna try. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna to try to get those two over there. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've been watching my videos, you guys know what I'm talking about. Here are the 2K eggs. I didn't even know they were hatching, son. I didn't even know. Let's go ahead and check it out. Please be a starter type. Oh my gosh, Pidgey. Really? Really, bro, Pidgey? We don't need a Pidgey. Uh, 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 I mean, I'm definitely gonna to have to start uh, catching a lot of Pidgeys and keeping them because I have so many candies where you get so much experience points from these things. Uh, let's go ahead and please, anything startable. Zubat. Joking. Zero out of two on these two guys. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer this one. Uh, let's go ahead and check out. I'm not catching a Pidgey. I'm just, just not. That's just not my thing right now. Uh, we do got 2K out of the 5K, so we got to go walk 3K. So let's go ahead and get that 3K walk in. And uh, because I give no fucks right now, let's go ahead and grab those two Pokestops. Because when I was walking in, the lady at the security gate was being pretty damn mean. So, yeah, catch you guys over there. I call this the I give no fucks, remember? So we're doing it, getting my Pokestop. So hopefully we can get one egg. We got one more Pokestop to go. I'm basically looking around to see if I can find any uh, security cars. There's small little white cars. And there's a lot of people out here today. 
there's a lot of people. I'm gonna have to sneak in, so it's gonna get pretty dark here. So give me a moment. I know it's getting really dark. I'm sneaking, getting my sneak on. And let's go ahead and grab this Pokestop and then head on back out. Cause once I get the Pokestop, we're good. No eggs, but okay, we got a bunch of Pokeballs, that's good. All right, let's head on back home and hatch these 5Ks. We got two of them to go. Uh, Porygon and Licky Tongue, hopefully we can get that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, I'm actually not sure if we're even gonna be able to hatch these 5K eggs. Uh, I've been walking quite a bit and we are at 34% and I'll go ahead and show you guys the eggs right now. Uh, but this isn't bad news at all. We're at 3.1 and I have 33% battery left. So that's probably the only thing that will stop me from hatching these eggs is the battery. Uh, I'm gonna just continue walking and walk as much as possible, but again, like I said, it's not bad news because what I really wanted to do today or tonight, I should say, is get my evolutions in, and we're definitely gonna go ahead and do that, and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and start off on the bottom. I believe it was my coughing. Yes, we're gonna get my first wheezing of all time. So let's go ahead. Ooh, we're just perfectly on the. Uh, candy mark here let's go ahead and evolve this bad boy not too sure and i'm very positive wheezing isn't amazing it's about to get really dark here i know it's been dark this whole time but it's about to get real dark i'm heading over to some lights so bear with me but i do not want to stop walking because i want to try to get these 5k eggs hatched uh this is our very first wheezing god damn man stinky as such such an ugly pokemon though such an ugly pokemon <laughs> all right 1521 oh wow i'm i'm surprised i mean that's pretty that's pretty darn high i'm gonna go ahead and check that out uh what else do we got we've got victory bell and alakazam i believe i'm very positive yay all right and alakazam all right let's get the alakazam in first because i know it's not going to be super high and uh this is a very cool pokemon and i love alakazam so much it Ab abra kadabra and alakazam are very interesting and if you guys have seen that latest generations episode three where red or aka gary is getting his grind on in the elite four his alakazam put in some work and we finally got our very first alakazam in the pokemon go game and i'm super stoked look at that addition to the pokedex we are roughly probably around 125 Pokemon in the Pokedex right now, 991 Alakazam. Like I said, it was definitely not going to be high, but I thought it would have at least made it over the 1,000 mark. Sadly, it did not. We are now going to go ahead and evolve this Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell. Again, I know it is very dark. I'm going to get you guys into some light in a bit. We're about to get into some light actually right now. When I turn this corner, there we go. She gets some light in. And uh, we finally got a victory bow. Again, another Team Rocket, uh, another James Pokemon. This guy was actually very annoying in the anime. Always putting James inside his mouth. But uh, 1572, yeah, I thought it was going to be around that. Uh, similar to the Weezing. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out CP-wise. What do we got cooking over here? Oh, I got to scroll all the way back up, though. See, I told you guys we'd get some light. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll up, though. So, still the same thing. My Arcanine, Snorlax, Flareon, Needle King, Needle Queen, Gold Duck are my top six. Uh, my Champ is up there as well. Uh, right on an Executor is up there. Uh, the best Jolteon in the game. Uh, my Clefable and my Victory Bell just made it into the top 12. And the Weezing is right after that. Uh, we do got, again, I know it's dark. Uh, we do got Slowbro, Pridgeot. So, it's not too bad. The squad's not looking too bad. Um, I'm very happy with what we've got and yeah, so 7 minus 132 is 125 and that's how many Pokemon we've got on the squad now. Uh, we've got 125 Pokemon added to the Pokedex. As you guys know, I'm OCD. I like to keep one of everything, but the ones that are starred are the ones that are the best of the chain. Uh, most of them are the final evolutions that are the best of the chain because I've evolved the best of the poor, but um, some of them. I'll go ahead and show you one. Like this Ponyta is gonna be better than this Rapidash. I recently got this 1017 Ponyta. Uh, let me go ahead and check out the candies on this thing, if we can evolve it. Go ahead and check it out. Are we very close? Yeah, we are. We only need one more Ponyta to go, so I'll be able to get a brand new Rapidash. Uh, I believe Voltorb's probably the other one that is very poor. Yeah, the Voltorb is better than my Electro already. 
and uh, I do not have enough candies to go ahead and power up him, but I believe those are the only two Pokemon that are uh, on the behind. And it looks like that is the case. Yes, it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue walking, try to get these two 5Ks hatched. I really hope we can, but I really doubt we are because we just spent 10% battery within two minutes from recording. So we got our evolutions in. If we do not get these hatched today, I will definitely go ahead and bring you guys back when I do get them hatched, if I can, if I'm in the correct spot or scenario to do so. But I'm gonna try to get these hatched as soon as possible. And yeah, hopefully it's a Licky Tongue or a Porygon or something that will allow me to evolve something else. Alrighty everybody, so I walked back here and as you guys know, the other side, level three gym, there is an empty slot, but sadly I can't get to it. But we do got this gym here. Ah, uh, there's a car cross, I mean there's a car driving. There's actually a few cars driving. Give me a moment really quickly while I get out of the car's way. There is this gym here, which just got taken over and changed from Mix Mystic to Valor. I should be close enough. I'm gonna go inside really quick because they are about to close the gates. So let's go ahead and uh, drop a Pokemon here because it is empty, of course. It was just taken over recently. And uh, don't got that much battery left, as you guys know. We got 10% here. We're gonna go ahead and switch it on over to our CP and definitely gonna throw in my RK9 here. And boom. We have joined the gym. Hashtag Team Valor all day, every day. Uh, nothing on a nearby list. And uh, again, we do got two 5Ks to hatch. Pretty close. It's going to be a close one. Hopefully we can get them in. Uh, the less I'm recording now, the better. So I'll catch you guys soon, hopefully. Sorry, everybody. Cannot be picky with the light situation here. Wait, what? I just clicked on one. Uh, okay, well, we got the 5K eggs hatching. Hopefully it's both of them. Get something cool. We got a diglet. Are you joking? A diglet out of a 5k egg. Oh, that is that is just that is just awesome. Uh, transfer that. Hopefully we get the other one. Did the other one already hatch? I think the other one already hatched. I clicked on it and it disappeared. So give me one moment. Let's go ahead and check out what it was. Cross streets, because it is freaking sprinklers over here. Gotta go to recent. Please be something decent. Q bone. Nice. Wait, I just caught Q bone though. I, I just got a Cubone. Where is my goddamn freaking? Okay, let's just, let me reset the game. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We did our reset, and guess what it was? It was a Shelter, which is very cool. And guess what? We've got another Pokemon that we can evolve here. We are gonna get a Cloister. I told you guys. I'm just waiting for candies on these things. We're freaking nonstop evolving left and right here, and I am super happy. Uh, what I really love about school. Yes, I said something I love about school. Is that we got so many goddamn Pokestops there. We're getting so many eggs and I walk from class to class. None of my classes are close. And I'm I'm getting candies galore. And that's what's really, really cool. And that's what's helping me complete my decks are the eggs. Because it's not easy for me to find a lot of Pokemon because I do not get the opportunity to go out as much. Except for these late night strolls here and there. A 1347 Cloyster. Not bad at all. And that is another Pokemon added to the decks. 6 minus 133. That would be 127. 127 Pokemon? Wow. Okay, I know it's pitch black and you guys can't see nothing or squat right now. We're about to lose our battery, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Everybody, I know it is pretty windy out here. Uh, about to start practice in about a half an hour, but just thought I would get some more evolutions out of the way because I can't wait for this anymore. Um, we got three more evolutions that I have been saving up. This vlog has probably been, this vlog in general, this actual episode has probably been the last week and a half. I've just basically been collecting evolution footage for you guys and throwing in some random stuff here and there. Um, the last episode which was when I evolved Jolteon. The reason why I didn't put that evolution into this one is because I've already had a Jolteon and that was just an episode to focus on that. Um, but we do got some more evolutions today. Again, they're gonna be coming in very quickly because I'm hatching eggs real quick and um, 
I'm getting candies from them, so I'm able to hatch these. It is freaking boiling hot. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's freaking hot as right now, though. Uh, but we got some more evolutions to go, and I'm going to see what I can do right now. We do got nine tails that we can evolve, and we will actually be evolving that right now. Um, we, what else do we got besides nine tails? I know there's a polyrath on the way, and then there was one more. I believe it was Sh No, it wasn't Shelter. We just evolved Shelter. Um... It was Grimer, I believe. Yes, it was Grimer. So we got a Muck, a Polyrath, as well as a... This this Grimer is actually real lit. Real. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was I thought it was lit. Oh, well. Well, we're in the shade now, so we should be good to go for right now. Uh, but we're going to get three evolutions out of the way real quick. We're going to grab this Pokestop here. I don't need any more eggs. I got two 2Ks and two 5Ks. Uh, not great, but uh, I also got five 10Ks that are on the wait team list. And there's our muck, our very first muck that is going to be added to the Pokédex. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about our Pokémon series. If you haven't been tuning in and you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Go ahead and check out our Pokémon GO playlist. Again, we are finally able to evolve a lot of our Pokémon at the moment. And uh, as you guys know, I'm OCD, so I like to keep one of everything. Uh, we got a Poliwhirl at 691. Um, I recently just got one that was at like two something. Um, these aren't the best CP'd Pokemon of all times. Uh, and the reason being is, I mean, I can't, I don't get that many Poliwhirls at all. I do not get that many Poliwags. I don't get that many Grimers. And uh, Vulpixes I get quite a little bit. They're kind of the same as Pikachu in my area. Um, but I just don't get enough to where I can just keep farming them and hopefully get a higher CP Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve them right away, get this Pokedex completed, and uh, hopefully then we will be able to start just kind of relaxing a little bit while we're playing Pokemon Go. We don't have to focus on the grind too much. This Vulpix is absolutely really good. Um, but the reason, why, reason what I mean by don't focus on the grind is I want to complete the Pokedex as much as possible. Not everything. And I know it's windy, guys. And you know what? What if I? But there's a stupid air conditioner right here too. But at least the wind's not as bad. Uh, we finally got our first nine tails. Goddamn Naruto hitting it up over here. Oh my gosh, that is next level. You guys don't even know how. I mean, I can't show emotions because I've actually had these Pokemon for a while now, and I knew I was gonna evolve them. But uh, oh, 1450. Oh, that I gotta appraise this. This might actually be a good one. I know the CP doesn't mean anything, but overall, oh, it's a decent Pokemon. Okay, so it's not good. HP is strongest. Stats are good. So, I mean, it's it's not the best, but it's, it's, it's up there. It's up there. So, it's a pretty good uh, haul right there. Uh, 138 minus 9 because of the eggs. So, we currently have 129 different Pokemon in our crew out of 142. That means we need 13 more to go. I can't count Gyarados. I can't count... Porygon, Licky Tongue, and all that stuff because I can't evolve into them. I have to get lucky to get them. Uh, the reason why I'm not counting Gyarados is because the freaking candies are non-stop. I need a lot of them and I haven't found a Gyarados. And then the um, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite, I'm not counting that either. I'm counting basically the ma main Pokemon besides Gyarados. And, and you guys will get it in a bit. Not too sure if this is going to be the end of the vlog because uh, the next couple of evolutions, I'm they're, they're not going to be hard to get. Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmeleon, they're not hard to get. I just need to get one of those Pokemon. Um, the Squirtle, I do need to get out of the egg because I need more candies. But the Bulbasaur and Charmeleon, I, j I only need two Bulbasaur candies. And um, I can evolve my Charmeleon right now, but I want to get a Charmeleon before I evolve him. So I need a couple more egg uh, candies from that as well. But I'll catch you guys in a bit. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we got some more evolutions coming your way.